This video. In this video, I'll be reacting to one of the videos from the YouTube channel, The Game Terrorists. Um, I'm a huge fan of their work, and I hope that you will like this video as well. This video came out in 2018, so I think it's around 3 years ago. So let's watch it. This video is very motivating and inspiring for all of us, and I hope that you like this video as much as I do. Let's go. We're gonna go right into uh, one of the smartest and most analytical guys on YouTube. Now. Smartest and most analytical guy. Do you mind if I drag to begin with? No. Is that okay? Do I <laughs> Smart guy, analytical guy. Then say, like, do you mind if I brag first? <laughs> I have your permission, brag. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I gotta tell you this. When I was in high school, I was pretty cool because I was the president of the men's chorus. The men's chorus! Awesome! I know a lot of you who aren't clapping are just horrendously jealous of me. <laughs> I don't blame you. I too would be jealous of someone who is president of a club of men who got together at 6.30 in the morning to sing. <laughs> Super cool stuff. Super cool stuff! Yeah! But as president of the men's chorus, you know, I had one responsibility, and only one. This is no joke. I had to set up the chairs before anyone else got there. That was all it was. That is not a joke. I would get there at 6 in the morning and set up the 70 chairs for rehearsal. In all honesty, I don't think president of men's chorus was actually something that existed before I got to high school. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think my choir dress director, Mr. Bianchi, saw me getting there early and my enthusiasm for helping and he's like, Hey, I don't want to set up these chairs myself. You go set up these chairs, Matthew. You're president. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Bianchi. I was like the pity president, basically. <laughs> cool. So it's cool. sophomore year and I'm president of the, of the men's chorus and I'm setting up my chairs. Uh, it's the first couple weeks of school and I notice that there's this new face, uh, that there's this freshman who I'd never seen before. Uh, who is sitting kind of off on his own in the corner of the room, not really talking to anyone. And I'm the president. I gotta make sure that everyone's having a good time at the men's chorus. Yeah! You know what? I'm the president! So uh, yeah, it's just one responsibility. <laughs> so I go out and I, you know, sit next to him, introduce myself, and I quickly learn that his name is Mark. And Hi, Mark. Uh, Mark is kind of a funny kid. He's a bit, he's a bit overweight. Uh, he has this high tenor voice, a little crackly at the time, and uh, he walks with this really extreme turnout. He has kind of like a duck walk. It's really cute. Uh, but at the same time, he's also one of the sweetest, most genuine people that you could ever meet. He's fantastic. He and I become fast friends uh, because he tells me in that first conversation that he's actually into drama. And me being like the total theater geek, outside of being a total choir geek, uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, totally, let's absolutely audition later this week for the show. Uh, I'll introduce you to everyone in the club. It'll be awesome. You'll have a great time. Uh, and so we do. We go out to the audition. Mark gets a minor part in that fall show, which is fantastic for a freshman. And I get the nerd role because, of course, I get the nerd role. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, I got the nerd role because. <clears throat> of course, I get the nerd role. Of course, I get the nerd role. <laughs> hey guys, it's Matt Pat. Uh, so that's basically the, the tone of our life for the next two years, right? Uh, theater and choir. So fast forward to my senior year, uh, we're driving back in the bus uh, from a choir concert that we had just finished. Uh, we're sitting in the back of the bus because that's where all the cool kids sit. Uh, right? All the cool kids sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> no. Uh, no. All the cool kids. No. 
<laughs> That's where the people who want to think they're cool sit. Uh, and and Mark, Mark turns to me and just out of the blue says, Hey man, I want to tell you something important. And I have no idea what he's talking about, but I see that we just pulled up to the all-you-can-eat all Italian place that we were going to eat dinner at. So I'm like, okay, cool, let's talk about this later. I'm gonna go eat some spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, cool, let's talk about it later. I'm gonna eat some spaghetti. And he pulls me back down and, and sits me down in the seat. He's like, no, really, I, I want to tell you something important. I'm like, okay, what? What's, what's up? Uh, and he says, thank you. And I'm like, thank you for what? And he's like, thank you for saving my life. That's, that's what he confesses to me in the back of that bus. <laughs> Two years earlier, the week that I had introduced Mark, or th that I had introduced myself to Mark, he had been planning to commit suicide that weekend. He had the plan all made out, he had been having a really hard time in middle school with people making fun of him, and then in high school he was hoping that it would get better. Hoping that it would get better. But here it was a couple weeks into the year and it still wasn't. People were still making fun of him for the way he walked, for his voice, and for his weight. He felt like everyone had given up on him. Everyone, except for apparently me, who, just because I was trying to be nice, just because I was trying to be inclusive, went over one morning after I had finished setting up those damn 70 chairs. <laughs> 70 chairs, 7-0, wow. And said, hey, I'm Matthew, what are you into? A conversation as simple as that, at 6.15 in the morning at choir rehearsal, is the difference between Mark living and dying. I bring this up for a reason. We live today in a world where the internet seems bent, or at least feels bent, on dividing us, on tearing us apart. It feels now more than ever like this tool that was once a way for us to unite intellectually and creatively is now being used to divide us, to focus on our differences. It's a place where only the drama gets reported, the big and bad news out there. Discourse is a thing of the past. It's just two groups of people who are shouting at each other why the other side is wrong. It's a place where even creators are approaching the internet and these online digital platforms with a me first attitude. What can I do to get myself ahead? Doing things like lying about donating to locks of love so you get an extra thousand Instagram followers. is that? Like seriously, lots of love for cancer patients. And here's the thing, all of you are creators, and if not all of you are creators, then all of you are viewers. True. Don't fall into those traps. That's true, that's true, that's true. All of you are creators, if not all of you are viewers. Don't fall for the trap. If you're a creator, create a community around yourself that is supportive and positive. Positive, uh, uh, supportive and positive. Be welcoming and inclusive for everyone. If you're just a viewer, then vote with your view. Don't support people or videos who are spewing out that sort of negativity or using that sort of negativity to grow their own presences. You have that power. You vote with your view. All of us, big or small, are influencers in some capacity. Some of us are small influencers with just our friends and family in our lives. And some of us are big influencers who are talking at the scale of millions on a worldwide stage. But regardless of whether you're a small influencer or a big influencer, as an influencer, you have to be a role model. And you are setting a tone for the people in your life and the people who listen to you. True, true. I absolutely agree with that. This, correct. And so I don't know about you, but if I'm going to help shape the future of the internet and where this cultural ecosystem takes us, I want it to be a positive future. One that is accepting and loving and kind and nice. But don't forget that first word, most important of all, accepting. Because here's the thing, you don't know how many marks are out there watching you. You don't know how many are out there watching every video that you put up, looking to you for that little glimmer of hope, that light to get them to the end of the week. So sure, do it for the good of your channel, do it for the good of your views, but most importantly of all, do it for Mark. Thanks guys. That was impressive. That was... That was really... heartwarming. Yes.
Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Honestly speaking, this video is very inspirational and very encouraging for all of us. I do hope that you like this video and watch some of their other videos as well from the YouTube channel The Game Terrorists. If you do like my videos, please consider to like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have anything to share with us. Do follow our channel as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Um, but hey, that's just a fact. A fact, fact. A life, fact. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much.